Hi, and welcome to another video. Allergy season's just round the corner. The high fever will be there. The the fear that, you know, when you get invited to these family get-togethers, oh, I've got a dog and it makes my eyes go all shitty and my nose run and whatever else. So what do you do? You go to your pharmacy, you get to the supermarket, and you buy yourself a pack of pills that stop the reaction. Because that's what you've been conditioned to believe to do. And if I had billions of pounds to throw at marketing because I had a product that could help this, well, that's what I'd be doing. Unfortunately, I don't have billions of pounds to do it to change your belief system. So I'm hoping this video will be enough. An allergy is, like most things that I deal with, a mistake of the brain. It's a... Uh, I think of it as an irrational fear, but for your immune system. So when things enter our body, there's two ways our brain and our immune system will deal with it. It will sell, send, send, ooh, send cells down, that's easy for you to say, for live viruses such as colds and flus, and our immune system fights that. Or when dead particles go into us, dust, fur, pollen, that sort of thing, it sends, should send another set of cells out to fight it. But it's made a mistake. It's done this because it now sees whatever it is, this flower, this glass of milk, this uh, dog fur, whatever, as a threat. So what's the best way for your brain to make you move away from this threat? Make you very, very uncomfortable. Runny eyes, breathing change, all of that, anxiety kicks in, you move. Lovely response, if it was for something that needed that response. But I don't think stroking a dog or a cat really requires that, does it? But these responses then become anchored into our brain. Allergies can also be <clears throat> a stress response for other things that are going on in your life. So, you know, an excuse sort of thing. Let's say, for example, your job on a weekend, you have to mow a lawn, but you hate it. You really, really hate it. Your brain can develop an allergy to grass, so then you've got that excuse of, well, I can't mow a lawn because this happens. Because it's seeing this horrible, stressful situation that you've made and it's now giving you something where you can avoid it. Which, okay, gets you out of that task. But then what about when you want to take the kids to the park in the summer? You can't differentiate it. It's grass now that you're allergic to. Or flowers or whatever. So this response can be changed. An allergy is a response. This mistake can be rectified. And that's what I do with an allergy removal. I correct the brain's mistake. And it's done quickly. And uh, you'll find that your symptoms, most, most of it, will go completely. Leaving you free to be able to do what you want to do. Just play with dogs, cats, or drink milk. I don't know. Whatever it is. The only ones I won't touch, if you go into... <clears throat> Anaphylactic shock. Anything that's life, um, you know, that could be life threatening, I won't touch. Because sometimes it requires a couple of redos um, to be hit the nail on the head. Especially if you've, if, you know, you've got two or three things that it might be. If you've got had an allergy test done and you've got a list of things, you're related to this, 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 and this, we can look at and do each one but if it's just hay fever as a general thing or a food intolerance as a general thing and your reaction is near death experience I'm not going to touch that if we do the technique first and you still start to get itchy or your nose starts to run, whatever else, 
that's fine, I'll work with that because we can sort that out and we can go back and then re reduce it down. The majority of the time it's done first time. For analogy, analogy you, you can also grow out of yourself or you might not suffer from something for many years and then all of a sudden bang you've got an allergy to something. You can work in a cycle. But again it's the brain's made, made a mistake. This mistake can be rectified. That's what I do. And we anchor in a new response. So when you do these things, when you go in the garden, when you did it, you no longer have the streamy eyes, the block nose, the whatever. You have the sort of nothing experience. You can just deal with it. You just go out there and everything's fine. And that is how an allergy removal works. Um, and that's what an allergy is. To be honest, it's pretty simple to get rid of. Well, for me to do anyway, as long as you want to get rid of it. So as long as you're not gaining from having this allergy and you want to get rid of this allergy, we can do it. Hit the subscribe button. Join me again for another video. I'm Chris Harrison, Mindset Self-Care Focus Therapy. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.